Hello and welcome everyone to our final presentation. Today, me and my team members will talk about our final project, the design of a light aircraft front landing gear. Our presentation will take about eight minutes. First, we will talk about the definition of our project and then we will explain our motivation and purpose. After that, in methodology, we will share the roadmap we follow during this project. Then we will explain how we make this project by using MATLAB, Fusion 360, and additive manufacturing. Lastly, we will share our results and talk about future work. In this project, we are designing front landing gear for a light aircraft. The main goal of our project is to reduce the weight of this part. As you can see from the graph in figure two fuel conception, and the weights of the plane are strongly connected. When designing in our space, it is an important factor that parts be as light as possible. This is because the weight of the aircraft is inversely proportional to fuel conception. Because a light aircraft will be more efficient than a heavy aircraft, it can travel, lo it can travel longer distances, carry more payload, and co cost less. Furthermore, a lighter airplane has better performance characteristics, such as a shorter takeoff and landing distance, which can improve safety in emergencies. Considering these reasons, every part of an, of an airplane has a critical role, landing gear, which plays a role, a role in flight takeoffs and landings, is an ex a, a example of this. In this project, the design of the front landing gear in light aircraft will be carried out. An example of this part can be examined in figure three. Our main purpose in this project is to manufacture a prototype of, of the front landing gear of a light aircraft. To do this first, we will create a basic model, the primitive design of our final product. After that, we will use topology optimization to reduce the weight of this geometry. After conducting several, conducting several topology optimizations, we will pick the best option and model it using different sur surface modeling techniques. Finally, we will manufacture a prototype using the additive manufacturing method. And here is our methodology. First, by using MATLAB, we created a code that generates the primitive shape of our final prototype. After that, by using this primitive shape, we apply topology optimization to, to uh, do it by using MATLAB and Fusion 360. Then these optimized shapes are modeled by using MATLAB and Fusion 360 programs. After this design process, we pick the, uh, pick the option um, uh, among the candidates and prepare it for manufacturing using programs like Cura and Process Slicer. And finally, we 3D printed this geometry. Now we will explain this whole process. Uh, in this section, I will explain how we designed this aircraft part uh, using the programming language MATLAB. Our MATLAB work was carried out in three stages. First, we created a code for primitive instancing and rigid body transformations. By using this code, we created the primitive basic shape of the final prototype. After that, by using a MATLAB code, we topologically optimized it. Uh, to get accurate results, we did a mesh study and tried different boundary conditions. Uh, after determining the general optimized shape, we used Bezier surface modeling and created a STL file. First stage in our MATLAB study is to generate a primitive basic shape of our final prototype. To do this, we will use this MATLAB code on the slide. Inside the code, we wrote a function called cube generator. This function generates a cube, uh, unit cube on the center of the global coordinate system. And by using the rigid body transformation depicted in the slide, we generate the final shape. After making the necessary calculations, this code plots the final shape. As you can see, we're planning to generate a U-shaped design. At the second stage of our MATLAB code, we did a topology optimization study. During this process, we used two different loading types. One of them is on the left and called the base force, and the other one is called the alternative force loading. In the following slides, we will refer these boundary conditions like this. Before we examine how, we, how the volume fractions affect the topology optimization, we conducted a mesh study. In this process, we use the base force boundary condition with 30% volume fraction. As you can see, the best option is the medium mesh size. If we use the mesh size with one centimeters, some important geometric shapes disappear. And as you can see, using a finer mesh uh, with a size of one millimeters does not give us any significant advantage. 
Therefore, using a medium mesh is ideal because it is more economic. By using this mesh value, we made several analysis for uh, each boundary conditions. In this slide, you can see the analysis for the base force. As you can see, by changing the filter parameters and volume fractions, uh, we can get different results. And in this slide, we made our analysis for the alternative force conditions. Uh, as we said earlier, by changing the volume fractions and filter parameters, we get different results. After these analysis, we picked 60% volume fracture base force model due to its relative strong shape. In the third stage, we used Bezier surface modeling and, and generate the shape that we will manufacture using additive manufacturing. During our modeling, we use G1 continuity between the curves. Due to complexity of our topology optimized shape, we will model the main body and the hole separately. In this slide, you can see the steps we follow up to generate the STL file of the main body. After the main body, we followed similar steps to model the holes of the optimized shape and generate this STL file of the holes. Topology optimization studies were carried out using Fusion 360. We determined 40 by 40 cm plate and thicknesses 4 cm. 4,000 4, 4, uh, Newton forces uh, applied vertically and horizontally to the point of the well position. Also, mesh size determined one centimeter. Then topology optimization was made separately for 20 and 30 percent volume fraction. Obtained results are displayed on screen. Factor of safety should be kept high in the aviation industry. So 30 percent volume fraction analysis result was chosen. We made some analysis under different loading and mesh size conditions to make comparisons. Firstly, the force determined horizontally in the previous analysis was applied to the surface at the angle of 55 degrees, and the analysis was repeated. Our results are displayed on the screen. For normal loading conditions, we determined the mesh size as 2 cm and performed the analysis. However, errors occurred in, uh, occurred in topology optimization when using volume fraction of 20%. Therefore, we were unable to perform the analysis using 30% volume fraction and 2 cm mesh size. After the analysis, it can be seen an insufficient result for connection points. As a result of various analyses, we have decided to choose the analysis that result, results from normal loading, 30% volume fraction, and 10 mm mesh size. After that, as it can be seen, uh, that the process was completed by removing the gaps. After looking at the landing gear designs from both MATLAB and Fusion 360 softwares, it was decided that the MATLAB design will be manufactured to show the results of the project. Manufacture of the MATLAB design is done by first generating a G-codon process slicer application. At the left side, we can see the main body of the landing gear and holes inside of it as the negative volumes. After that, the G-code is sent to the printer. Ender 3 V2 3D printer is used to print out the landing gear MATLAB design. The print material used was PLA+. And here are some of the close-up shots to see the details of the landing gear. To summarize the whole process, firstly we started with primitive instancing where the front landing gear was roughly modeled. After that, topology optimization was done to find the optimal material layout. And with Bezier surface modeling, an optimized model structure was created. At the end, additive manufacturing method was used to make a physical model of the part. As for the future work, further and more detailed topology optimizations can be done while using more complex and sturdy geometric structures. We want to thank Dr. Mo Recep Mohamed Gurgli Arslan for his theoretical help and practical examples shown throughout this course. Thank you for listening and have a nice day.